Every year, millions of seniors around the world suffer a painful and life-changing injury that can rob them of their independence, hip fractures. Most people think these fractures happen simply because of falls or because of old age. But what if I told you there's a hidden reason, one that's quietly weakening your bones from the inside out, a silent deficiency that almost no doctor talks about, one that leaves your bones fragile and your risk of fractures dangerously high. In this video, I'll reveal what this overlooked cause is, why it's so common in the elderly, and what you can start doing today to protect yourself or your loved ones from a devastating hip fracture. Trust me, you don't want to miss this, because fixing this one thing could literally save your bones and your life. Before we dive in, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It helps us reach more seniors who need this information and could literally help prevent a life-changing injury. Now let's get into it. Hip fractures are not just broken bones, they can be a death sentence. Studies show that up to 30% of seniors die within a year of breaking their hip, mainly due to complications like blood clots, infections, and complete loss of mobility. But here's what's alarming. Many of these fractures don't happen because people slip and fall. They happen because their bones are already too weak to withstand even minor pressure. When people talk about bone health, you always hear the same two things, calcium and vitamin D. Doctors recommend calcium supplements, milk commercials push it as the ultimate bone food, and vitamin D gets all the credit for helping the body absorb calcium. But there's a third nutrient, one that's absolutely crucial for strong, healthy bones, yet it's almost completely ignored. That nutrient is magnesium. Magnesium doesn't just support bone health, it controls it. It acts like a master regulator, quietly working behind the scenes to keep your bones solid and resilient. One of its most important jobs is activating vitamin D. Without enough magnesium, vitamin D remains mostly inactive in your body, meaning you can take all the vitamin D supplements you want, but your body won't be able to properly use it to absorb calcium. Magnesium also directs calcium to the right places. It ensures calcium gets pulled into your bones and teeth where it belongs, instead of building up in your soft tissues or arteries, something that can lead to dangerous calcification and heart problems down the line. When your magnesium levels drop, everything starts to fall apart. Vitamin D stops working effectively, calcium floats around aimlessly, making bones weaker while hardening arteries. Your bone building process becomes defective, and over time your bones become porous, brittle, and dangerously fragile. Researchers have been sounding the alarm on this for years. For example, a large-scale study published in the European Journal of Epidemiology found that elderly individuals with low magnesium levels had a 44% higher risk of bone fractures, including debilitating hip fractures, compared to those with healthy magnesium levels. Another study in Osteoporosis International tracked thousands of people over several years and concluded that magnesium deficiency was a significant predictor of low bone mineral density, meaning people with low magnesium levels consistently had weaker bones, making them far more prone to breaks and fractures. And this isn't just theory, it's showing up in hospital records too. Seniors with magnesium deficiencies are more likely to be hospitalized after a fall, have longer recovery times, and face a higher risk of complications after surgery. In just a moment, we're going to talk about the subtle clues your body gives you when your magnesium levels are dropping. Because sadly, many people walk around dangerously deficient without even knowing it, and later in this video, I'll also show you how to take magnesium the right way to actually protect your bones and lower your risk of hip fractures, including the best forms to take and common mistakes to avoid. Now you might be wondering, why are magnesium levels so dangerously low in the elderly? The truth is, it's not just one reason, it's a combination of natural aging, modern lifestyles, and hidden environmental factors all working against you. First, as you age, your body simply becomes less efficient at absorbing magnesium from the foods you eat. Even if you think you're eating well, your digestive system doesn't pull in magnesium like it used to, which means you're already starting from a deficit. Then, there's the problem of medications. Many drugs that are commonly prescribed to older adults quietly drain your magnesium levels without you even knowing it. Diuretics, which are often used for high blood pressure and heart conditions, flush magnesium out through your urine. Proton pump inhibitors, widely taken for acid reflux or heartburn, interfere with magnesium absorption. Even certain antibiotics can deplete your body's magnesium stores over time. Chronic health problems add another layer to the issue. Conditions like type 2 diabetes, digestive disorders, and kidney problems cause your body to lose even more magnesium while making it harder to absorb enough to replace what's lost. But there's another major factor most people never hear about, and it starts with the food supply itself. 
Our soil today is dramatically depleted of minerals, especially magnesium. Decades of intensive farming practices and the overuse of chemical fertilizers have stripped the soil of its natural mineral content. That means the fruits, vegetables, and grains grown today contain far less magnesium than they did just a few generations ago. Even if you eat plenty of whole foods, you're still not getting the same amount of magnesium your grandparents did from the same produce. To make matters worse, modern diets are flooded with highly processed, refined foods that are almost completely devoid of magnesium. Worse still, these refined carbohydrates, white bread, sugary snacks, pasta, and processed grains, actually force your body to use up more magnesium just to metabolize them. Every time you eat a high-carb processed meal, your body ends up even more magnesium depleted. And then there's stress. Whether it's emotional stress from life events, physical stress from illness, or even chronic low-grade stress that many people live with daily, your body burns through magnesium at a much faster rate during stressful periods. So when you put it all together, you have a perfect storm. Your body absorbs less magnesium as you age, you lose more through common medications and chronic illnesses, you're eating food grown in mineral-depleted soil, you burn through magnesium faster because of stress and refined carbohydrates, and modern diets barely give you enough to begin with. The result is a silent, widespread magnesium deficiency that slowly weakens your bones and dramatically increases your risk of suffering fractures, especially hip fractures that can completely change the course of your life. Now how do you tell if you're low in magnesium? Most doctors don't even test for magnesium properly. Blood tests only measure about 1% of your body's magnesium. The rest is hidden in bones and muscles. One of the most common red flags is frequent muscle cramps or spasms. If your muscles are twitching or cramping often, especially at night, it's often a clear sign your magnesium levels are depleted. Another common symptom is a constant sense of fatigue or unexplained weakness, even after resting. Some people also experience numbness or tingling sensations in their hands or feet, which can point to nerve dysfunction linked to magnesium deficiency. Magnesium is crucial for heart rhythm, so low levels can also trigger irregular heartbeats or palpitations making you feel like your heart is skipping beats or pounding unexpectedly. Poor sleep is another major clue. Struggling with insomnia or waking up frequently during the night can be your body's way of signaling low magnesium. And of course, if you've already been diagnosed with osteopenia or osteoporosis, that's a massive warning sign in itself, because magnesium plays a direct role in keeping your bones dense and strong. If you're noticing any of these signs, especially if you're over 60, it's absolutely essential that you take magnesium seriously. The good news is, you can take back control of your bone health starting today. There are simple but powerful steps you can start implementing to strengthen your bones, replenish your magnesium levels, and lower your risk of devastating fractures. The first step is to focus on eating more magnesium-rich foods every single day. Some of the best natural sources include dark leafy greens like spinach, nutrient-dense seeds like pumpkin seeds, healthy nuts such as almonds, creamy avocados, and high-fiber options like black beans. These foods not only provide magnesium but also deliver other vital nutrients your body needs for healthy bones. The second step is to consider supplementing with a high-quality magnesium supplement, especially if you are over 60. Not all supplements are created equal, so it's important to choose forms that are easily absorbed by the body, such as magnesium glycinate or magnesium citrate. Most older adults require around 300 to 400 milligrams of magnesium per day to maintain healthy levels. But it's important to always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement routine to make sure it's appropriate for you. It's also crucial to pay attention to the quality of the supplement you choose. Many low-quality supplements don't actually provide the amount of elemental magnesium they claim on the label. Always opt for trusted brands that clearly state the elemental magnesium content, which is the actual usable magnesium your body will absorb, not just the total compound weight. Alongside magnesium, you should make sure you're also supporting your bone health with other critical nutrients like vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. These nutrients work in harmony to improve calcium absorption, direct calcium into your bones, and prevent it from building up in your arteries. Think of magnesium, vitamin D3, and K2 as a powerful bone-protecting team that strengthens your bones while protecting your heart at the same time. Another important mineral that often gets overlooked is zinc. Even in small daily amounts, zinc plays a crucial role in bone formation and repair. Most adults, especially seniors, can benefit from supplementing with 10 to 20 milligrams of zinc daily, as it supports bone metabolism and also helps with immune function. 
And finally, no bone strengthening plan would be complete without addressing one of the biggest magnesium killers, excessive carbohydrate intake. Cutting back on refined carbohydrates like white bread, pastries, and sugary snacks is essential. But it's equally important to moderate even the so-called healthier whole carbohydrates like white rice, pasta, and processed grains because they still lead to spikes in blood sugar and magnesium depletion during digestion. The less you rely on carbs, especially processed ones, the more you help your body retain magnesium and build stronger bones naturally. So there you have it. Magnesium could be the missing key to protecting your bones and preventing dangerous hip fractures as you age. Don't let this hidden deficiency catch you off guard. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us reach more people, especially seniors, who need this life-saving information. Thanks for watching. Take care of your bones and I'll see you in the next video.